Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms. The Furious Wild DLC, the 190 start date as Shir Shir. So, if we have a look over here, we have vassalized Wultugu. Doing so has also brought in, if we can find him, uh, scroll up a moment, here, Tu'an has joined us. Now, Tu'an is quite a fun bunny to have on side. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't get any... You know unique Naman units or anything else which is a little bit of a shame um i was hoping he might but it seems he's just a generic i do have the mod on so that uh unique characters can recruit their unique units but because he's not a unique playable faction he may not have any specific to himself um yeah, it was worth a try though however we've got him he is a former faction leader actually for uh one of the uh, Naman tribes so having him is quite nice. Wutugu has uh, joined us. He will sort his life out and love us very, very soon. Um, we have small irritations uh, coming towards our board. If we see here, we've got Yuan Shu's army. There's Liu Bei's army knocking around. There's a couple of armies here by Yuan Shao. Um, I imagine they're going to start, because they're all sort of piecing out up here. I imagine they're going to start sending more armies down our way very soon. But I need to sort my life out a little bit to deal with that. Um, there are plans in place. We've we've got an army here, um, which of course uh, is led by Dorsa, which can guard just in case anybody wishes to come down on the north. Uh, Mulan people are advancing. They're there just to kill a few uh, people knocking about. They're not major. But Shamakur has his own army knocking around here as well, which is quite handy. You know, um, Mong Hoa's got armies around here, so I'm not overly worried about these armies. Um, we might lose some vassal armies, but, you know, for, for the most part, we should be okay. What is quite interesting is that the Yellow Turban Rebellions have been kicking off in this region. And that means that uh, our armies here could potentially benefit from taking territory. Now, uh, Shu Hui, I'm actually going to send up north. I'm going to send him up here. Um, just in case we have something that my vassals can't deal with coming from the north. We have another army down here anyway that's uh, building up. This is Tuan's army. Um, it's also got Guo Hai, who uh, I recruited not long back. And it's got Jia Huan Shrebang as well. So, you know, it's a Naman heavy army. But they're here just in case we get an attack from this side. Uh, Zhou Tai will hold here just in case uh, we end up at war with Lady Wu again. Which will happen. Um, but probably not for another five turns unless she wants to be uh, untrustworthy. Um, but I'm worried about this river because if they come down and miss my vassals here, they've got a clean line to the river and then into heartlands of my vassal territories, which is not on. So I'm actually going to move Shu Xie down this way and I'm going to move Shu Kuang down this way as well. Now he obviously has some boys that need replenishing quite heavily. Um, but we can't do much about that until he does get down into our territory. So we're not going to worry too much. I'm spending money like nothing on earth, but I'm getting a lot of money in as well. Um, we should be Duke very, very soon too. I really want to be Duke soon. Um, so yeah, enough of that. Let's uh, let's move on. Um, oh, time out. I've just been wiped out by Liu Bei. He should have become my vassal. He was always a maybe. Um, and his price was too high for me to be bothered. That means that we should probably ask Mulu to return. Here's Wang Lang is shifting down. That's interesting. So the, this army here is shifting up. So it is what I feared. So Yuan Shao is sending some two armies down this way and two armies west. Okay. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Um. Yeah, you piss off, mate. Hopefully now we've got some armor craft and we're going to start getting some decent armor in. I would like a weapon smith as well, you know, just to help out. I need Mulu. I'm probably going to give Mulu a different uh, target. He's no use there. He's going a little bit too far to chase what was the old target I gave him. Um, hmm. I don't know what Lady Bien's doing. I have no idea what Cao Cao's overall game plan is, but it's not been very effective in any way shape or form so far Tamau has been destroyed Samai. it appears that Samai, a famed recluse has forsaken his isolation to offer his, offer his talents to a warlord a warlord obviously in possession of admirable powers of persuasion 
finest armor. Fantastic. I was just talking about that. Brilliant. Okay. Faction destroyed. And series gained. Dignified Raymond. Well, that's just pure authority. Pure authority. Wait. Your one's pure authority as it stands. Go high. Go high. Sorry. Here you go. Have that. Feel loved and wanted. I'm not quite sure what you've done to deserve it, but uh, you shall have it. Um, you, my lady. You could perhaps end up marrying someone, so you could end up an administrator. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, first of all, Mulu. Mulu, Mulu, Mulu. Where are you? What are you doing? Nothing useful. Select target. Uh. Smash that face in. Shamoka is fine where he is. Dorsa is fine where he is. Dong Tuna. Yeah, you'll find you guys can replenish a little bit, I think. You guys can replenish. Uh, trade agreement? No. Hey, vassal? No. Ooh, dumb vassal. Not gonna happen. Not aggression pack with Dong Li? I don't think so. I don't think so. So. Okay. We've got a shit ton of money. Um, you. Yeah, keep shifting down here. You as well, into Jiangyang. I have a feeling that they are planning to attack us from this direction. Now, I do sort of need to rejig this force. I don't want to lose them, but they're no use, really. We need to start getting some siege weaponry and all the rest. We're not fighting Namman anymore. Um, so that's definitely worth doing. These chaps here, they're okay. They're okay. Yeah, you boys shift up here. Um, you. You're alright to just hang around for a second, I think. Don't think there's much else we need to do there. We can upgrade this to a legendary armorer. That will be super useful. I'll tell you what else we can do. We've got a tiny bit of spare money. Just a tiny bit. So, family tree... Now, we have a few people up for marriage. Number one, there's her. She's a little bit older. That doesn't necessarily matter if we're planning just to do it for the sake of, uh, you know, um, bringing someone into the family. Young Xiu, he's quite important and he's always unhappy. So we could marry her to him. That will bring him into the family and stop him complaining. That's a thousand gone. But he should feel happier now. Does. Still not. A m he's a member of the. Uh, so it'll sort itself out next turn. Fair enough. Fantastic. Right. Next turn. Ah, I should have spent some of my Splendors, or I could spend the next turn. We're not going to max out. Liu Bei's army, we're not worried about. It's these army. Yeah, he is definitely shifting down to attack us down here. Okay, well, maybe if we beat his two armies up, because Wang Lung looks like he's going to head down that way too. Actually, he could make a break down this way. But we can beat these armies up here. We'll send Shu Hui to deal with them. Because I can't have them taking Changsha from my vassal. Um, or I can, but I'll take it from them straight after. Um, but yeah, this is quite a large army, and Wang Lang's got quite a large army. And Shu seems to be at war with Gong Du. Which could work in my favour. I have a deal with Gong Du. He has a weaponsmith, though. I do want that. Hmm. Like... The problem is, like, Gongdu would be a, a natural target, but he's one of the few people who's willing to trade with me. Or coordination. Okay. Character developments. Nobody I need. Nobody I need. Um. Well, they look like they've been wiped out. Let's just uh, sling down here, just in case. Just to have a, a little bit of a look. Um. I want to have a look here as well. Just keep an eye. On how things are going. I know you guys hate me, so I couldn't give a toss about jumping all over your territory. And Anya, administrator. Uh, 
I don't think you have much industry there, and this is certainly very, very useful. So we're going to put you there. Um, right, he's shifting up there. These boys are shifting back down here. Yes, please. Shifty, shifty. Now, you. You still can't improve that unit at all. We could improve the cavalry. Because let's be honest, it's not very good. So, I'll grab a couple of them for now. We don't need to spend any more. These guys are all fine. A chunk of money. Uh, Zhou Tai's army. Zhou Tai's army is... Fine. Kinda. Uh, this army's alright. They're doing good. These boys down here could definitely do with two more hits of cav. Um, probably do with losing these as well, actually. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think you need this many. Yeah. Um, mm, those axes are just not very good. A couple of them are useful. That many, not super useful. They're a spear unit as well, so they're quite useful. We have three of those as a backbone, flanked by them, two lots of axes, a lot of archers. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll work. That'll work for me. Then um, we want some more of this. Choir. Thank you. Uh, have a look at the old family tree as well, because we do have... What's in pain yet? You've married. Two. Yes, we have you. You could marry. Who do you want to marry? Mm. You married... Alright, my middle child needs a wife. There we go, that's brought her into the family. I don't think I have anyone else of marriageable age yet. I still have no idea why he is law. A um, little bit odd, but hey. Cool. Married. Done. Uh, right, hop. Oh. Uh, yes, please. There we go. Nicely sorted. Bring that back here. Everything else should be good. We're not going to get any peace or anything else till we actually thump some of his armies. We've got to understand that. Han Empire holds this. We're trading with the Han Empire too. And again, they're a natural target. We've sort of hemmed ourselves in here. We have to wait for this timer to run out with um, Lady Wu. And then we need to hit her quite hard quite fast. We don't have enough armies in the region. We'll have to move that uh, army under Tu'an up as well to deal with them. I guess we can move him across. They they do like to throw people across the river. Uh, sorry, acro uh, across the sea. Oh no, one guy is coming south. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. That's not a clever move by him. I have much more defense there than I do over here. Over here, my armies are knackered. We're not going to replenish in time. Though, if he wants to two versus one, it's going to be two versus one, and I'm going to win it. Uh, I don't like the look of that. Looks like Lady Wu is at war with the Han Empire. I need to double check that. Two armies in those territories. I've only got Zhou Tai there in case they kick off against me as well. Shamok Ke is moving back. Maybe I don't have the armies up north. Okay, Shukwain could be on his own. Ah, uh, Dongtuna's mucking about. That'd be fine. Dongtuna around there will be good. Yellow turbans. Hello. Uh huh. Laba Festival. This is the day of the Laba Festival. As the tradition, you gather your officers together and tell the chefs to repair the traditional Laba Kongji. A simple dish while traveling the roads, but the mix of rice, beans, and dried fruits lifts the spirits. Fascinating. Okay, uh, you have entered that territory. Therefore, you are fair game. We shall take that in a second, if you don't mind. You, my man, that area there is quite well defended, but there is an hat appearing that we may need to deal with. On this front, you're almost at Jiang. It is slow going, I know, I understand. You can shift here because she is coming. She is coming. 
She's not at war with Gongdu, is she? No, he's at war with Liu Biao, Ma Tong, Han Sui, and Han Empire. Okay, he's not at war with any of them. Uh, maybe that was just a random yellow turban then. Not good. Um, uh, cancel that, actually. I want to speak to Dong Tuna. Where's Dong Tuna? Dong Tuna. Who's good? Here you are. What's up with you? Let's discuss things a little bit, shall we? Um, I'm going to give you something. And I don't want you to tell the others. Have this. Be happier. Yeah, it would. Now shut up and be happy. You're my strongest ally out of all of them. We fought together more often than any of the others. I cannot have you creating problems. Right, that's in position. Ah, shit, I forgot about that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You, shift your ass up there. That's where you're going. Saving the money up to do that. Crap, I'm so stupid. Uh, do you know what? Get there faster. Get there a lot faster. That was dumb. You'll be there in a turn. That replenishment's good. I'm loath to get rid of them, but I think... I think we need to. I'm going to grab one of them. And then I guess I could keep that unit. They're rank 10. I don't have anything else that's comparable. Um, right. These boys here. We're going to drop in some of this. You certainly could do with some cavalry. First shot cav, to be honest. There we go. That army will be fixed very soon. Okay, nice. Right. Ah, that was so stupid of me. I can't believe I didn't bloody take that armor smith. <laughs> armor maker. Mm. That's what happens when you take a break between episodes. <laughs> Alright. Not a big problem, though. As long as we beat uh, Gongdu there, we should be fine. No, Wang Lang is coming up towards us. We've got two armies coming our way down here. Shu Xie is going to be on his own guarding against them. They're coming on land in Gongdu's territory. That means they might threaten... Uh, is that Wutugu's land there? Don't know. Dongli? Hmm. Dongli still has all of that territory. All defended by the... Defended by the, the, the passes. See, I'm, again, I'm trading with them. I'm thinking, like, I could head up there and I could hold that. And there's nothing China could do about it. But that would be declaring war on the people who buoy up my economy. I somehow have to go over my allies. Yeah, he's going to go through Kong, Gongdu's territory. We might be able to ask Wutugu to join us. Against that force. Or they might make a beeline for Wutugu. Which would be a shame. That would be a real shame. Well done, Dong Tuna, destroying them. Excellent job. Okay. So, what we got? Buildings complete. Character developments. Yeah, nobody I really need. A series gained. A labor recruiter. Oath sworn. Yeah, very nice. And assignment. Okay, so we need to sort out some assignments. You, my man, get your ass up here to get me out of my mistake. You can sit here. You are going to have to be on your own for a second. Do you know what? Do you know what? Shift over here, actually. Shift over there by road. See what they're planning to do. You jump in here. Ours. Very much ours. Hostage sent. Interesting. There is wisdom in aligning with the powerful. Those who stand alone soon find themselves at others' mercy. Your victory in war has seen nations fall prostrate in newfound loyalty to your name. Freshly made vassal sends one of their own as a hostage. A dedication, they say, to their new master. So, who do we have? We have Liu Zan. Ah, you are... I mean, borderline talentless. Truly. That is especially poor. Well, I tell you what. Um, where are you? I give you permission to seek service elsewhere. How about that? Right. Now. 
What was I doing here? Available assignments, meh. Public order, good. Satisfaction, good. That all ends up shifting up there. Armies, redeployment cost again, useful oil and stuff. I love it. Um, trade influence has its uses too. We don't need the spies so much yet. Building upkeep, commerce, definitely. That would be crazy useful. But I have to do so... Well, I don't have to do that much. That as well would be crazy useful. There's so much I want. Um, reduction in character salary. Definitely nice. Income from commerce. Definitely do that. Punt over here. Um, I can't get another trade agreement, but we just want income generally. So we'll do that here. Uh, we'll get a tool forge going. Um, just to keep that interesting. You're in position. You, my man. If I can just find you there. You. Uh, sit here. For now. Don't know where they've all buggered off to. But we shouldn't worry too much about them. You're coming down here. You're going to be in position. You're there. Which is fine. And we've got a little bit more money to spend. You're building up and you're going to need some time to replenish. Here, this is income from commerce and industry. Very, very nice indeed. I don't know if we have Yunnan. Yunnan can do it too. There we go. Spectacular. That's what we want. Stuff for the economy whilst this is all going on. Whilst we wait for them to attack. Because we know the attack is coming. Of course, I'm now spending all the bloody money that I need to save up to uh, take that territory. But hey, it's fine. It's fine. So, she is mo all right, she's moving straight for me. That's cool. We'll take them out one by one then. I thought for a second the AI was going to be really smart and wait. But they're not. They must be really low on supplies. I'm always amazed that Kong Wong's actually growing. To me, that just seems inconceivable. Kong Wong's useless. But I guess they've been buying stuff. Oh, hello. Liu Biao is taking a walk through Liu Bei's territory. I wish they were at war again, but our coalition and their coalition seem to have pieced out, just leaving them all against me. And it does really irritate me because Cao Cao was in a position where he could have won. I mean, even before Yuan Shu had to surrender to Yuan Shao and was vassalized, Cao Cao could have won it for them if he just united his armies. But he decided to split them up and he never took out Lord Jun. But hey, that's the AI for you. I like the fact that Han... I mean, there's the one worry is with the Han. If all of that stuff collapses and, and it becomes Yellow Turban and I take it, will I still be able to trade with the Han? So wait. Nandore Interesting. So we are now a duke. That is good. As your position rises, you may use your newfound power as duke to educate. Only through knowledge will China know unity and peace. Of course, those who insist on remaining in ignorance must be dealt with. And we have ah, a son, Shu Wei and Hu Shangqin, have giving birth to Shu Qian. Uh, we've reached dukes. We've got an extra 2,000. We mandate of heaven. Our new task is to become emperor. The emperor has lost his mandate and the land is suffering for it. Your influence has grown, however, and the number of your followers is many. Now prove your claim and your right to rule and proclaim yourself the new emperor of China. I will do my best. Series gained an eavesdropper. Okay. Okay. Now. We have all of these cool new toys. I am not going to rush to fill the prime minister slot. What I am tempted to 
do. However, let's have a look at this. 10%, 5%, uh, 13, 20, 6, 2 and mustering turns. Quite nice. Uh, uh -huh, 22%, not bad. Well, I'm going to have to give it to Shiju, just because he's family. I'm going to put him in charge of... In, uh, maybe... Yingling? Maybe... No, we'll put him in charge of Yunnan. There you go, you can be in charge of Yunnan. Enjoy that. Slightly out of the way posting. Um, okay. Assignments. So, money. Yulin is done. Galyang is done. Yunnan is commerce too. Uh, Wu Ling is 800. Uh huh. Wu Ling, in you go. Have fun. There. Done. Okay. You. Fast. You. Uh, we don't know exactly which way she's going to go. So, let's just place yourself here and go into ambush mode. Jiang Yang wants walls. Well, it doesn't want walls. It's a Naman city. But um, it wants to pretend it might have walls in the future. Wu Ling wants that. That is so cheap. Uh, Ling Ling's going to take some time. Gaoliang. Gaoliang reserves. And reduction of military supplies. Hmm. Hmm. Zhao Zhu. It's time for you. We'll spend the money there. I'm going to save the excess. Um, we are going to buy another Lord's Chest. Just in case. Hang on to that, uh, just in case we need it. And yeah, you are pretty much in position. I'd like you to hang around here in ambush mode, waiting for them to appear. You, my man, uh, can shift over here, just in case this goes yellow turban, because that'd be fun. And then we can take that too. Uh, Ling Ling will sort itself out. Um, Galia. I can't afford it. Just too much money. Just too much money. Zanka and everyone else as well. Okay, fine. Done. Next turn. We are Duke now, though. This is good for diplomacy. It's going to give us extra trade routes and all the rest. Um, not that we can trade with anyone else other than Lady Wu, who's just not interested. Come on, fall into my trap. Ah. Uh. Oh, you cheeky cheeky army that's fine though we can still get you we can still get you I don't know what he's thinking he's doing come on give me some yellow turbans and Linling. Ling. the other ones all collapsed to yellow turbans A lot of yellow terms knocking around in Liu Bei territory too. I mean, I guess that's due to Gongdu's presence as much as anything else. I don't know though. I don't know. A lot of yellow terms in Hodong. But they're, I mean, they'd be piss weak. Easy to crush. Sao has got armies there, but he doesn't do anything with his bloody armies. They're just for show. The Sao Sao we rolled for this campaign is not a great incarnation of the character. Oh yes. The strategist Jashu has seen an emperor fall and a tyrant rise. He's a man who recognizes strength and sees it in you. He's willing to abandon his current master and join your cause. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Now he is going to be a tiny bit unhappy. Oh, bloody hell. This one, okay. He's gonna be a tiny bit unhappy, but there are things we can do about that. And that is make him prime minister. Now, where's Jashu? So he is not a family member. Okay, we can make him a family member eventually, but I can't spend the money at this moment in time because I need to 
exactly this. In you go. Oh, one more bloody turn. Fine, done. Uh, down here, who is it? Okay, you're an administrator now. Um, I would like that, but this is going to bring me money. So do that instead. We want to have a quick look at Jashu. Jashu. Okay, you've got stuff. You've definitely got stuff. You don't need that. Probably that is more useful. Yeah. None of that for you, unfortunately. Okay. Nice. Nice. You're in position. Then. Here we go. Here we go. Close victory. That's fine. Do a night battle. Right. I think it's time we had a fight. Okay. So. <clears throat> so. Just nice forest over there for my cavalry to hide in if we need to. Just sit back here a second. Turn that on, turn that on. We're going to take dueling off for now. We may want to duel, but... Uh, I don't know just yet. A shift here. And then in front of you, I'm going to throw this. They have a chunk of cavalry. We don't want a head-on charge. Uh, nothing doing with that. So we'll throw that there for now. We'll throw that there for now. We can always move it around in a second. Then, behind... It's going to be a slightly odd formation, but... Behind, I would like these people. I'd like some axes here. And I'd like some axes... Oh, hello. Some axes here as well. Then, crossbow. There. Crossbow there arrows arrows behind behind that I would like flaming shot rock chucker uh, then I think we probably would like a circle formation sort of here-ish guarding a flank I think we'd like a circle formation sort of here-ish Guarding the flank and then rear line of these bad boys here. See if the cavalry can get through that. I mean, the cavalry can if they're clever about it, but you know, we should be fine. You can sit there and then cavalry, cavalry, swing you onto this. Uh, we'll swing you over here. Start battle. Go hide. Off you pop. You. Are we in range? Or are we just... Oh, you lucky bastards. Well, just creep, creep a handful forward then. Just get a tiny bit forward. There we go. And fling your rocks. So I don't think any of them are going to want to duel, right? Oh, no. Duel how might. Come on. Come forward, Shishin. Prove yourself. Bang. That's what we want to see. Because <clears throat> they got towers and spikes and all that shit. Which they're welcome to have. They're already starting to wobble. Uh, night battles and fire. Um, and of course, we're not bloody hitting yet because we're just a rank two. Oh, we've just gone up to rank three, to be fair. Um, but basically, we're not very good. Come on. Mess him up, please, Shishin. Do the family proud. Do -do -do -do. And smash. He magicked him off his horse without ever having to hit him. He was so afraid of your big fuck off axe, he threw himself backwards off the horse. Come on, smack him in the face with this. Come on. Bang. Ah, uh, that was not effective. I'll smack him in the face with this instead. That was more effective. There we go. We'll kill him. Then hopefully, they're going to start to shift forward. Rock Chucker. Crossbows. He's finished. Yeah, he's finished. You. Are any of them interested in another fight? Nah. Nah, they're not. Uh, on your pony. Good man. Let's ride. Let's ride. That's what I want to see. Absolute hell on earth for them. 
have. You are hidden, which is important. You're going to stay there for as long as possible. You're going to shift back here. You, my lady, then can shift on this side. That's why they seem to have the majority there. Archer force now. Sort of centrally, actually. And them over there. You can shift to this flank. You boys, just sit there. You don't mind? Yeah, of course they're running. Of course they're running. Come on. More rocks, more death, more destruction. How are we doing? 65? I mean, it's not a great tally of death, but it's better than nothing. You've definitely done your bit. You've taken out one of their officers. In come all the crossbow bolts in the world. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, maim, and destroy. You can set up here. You can set up across here now, actually. Now that uh, we know where their cavalry is coming from. Just form here. And if they want to charge you, they can try. And then, yeah, you boys, just sort of there. That'll do the trick. Good. Fling rocks at them. Well done, crossbows. Ah, oh, they've tried to pretend they're not there. Ah, uh, I guess that's something they could do. Pike up. If they want to charge, they can try it. They really are going to try it. Oh my god, they're thick as pig shit. They've got a whole flank of crossbows there. Ah, uh, there they are. They've pulled away. They've pulled away. Absolute wimps. Smash them. Crossbows are just shooting at them. This is the Battle of Jiechao all over again. They can't get a charge off because the crossbows are just killing them as they come in. Look at that slaughter. Well done, crossbows. Cav, 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 cav. How are you doing? We've almost pretty much defeated their cavalry as well. They Are they really not coming back? Okay. Just these boys here then. Lads, they're the ones you want. 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 Come on, kill, 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 kill. Stand, stand, stand. They're going to break. They're going to break. They're going to break before they hit. They're going to break before they hit. Oh, no, they're not. Damn it. Ah, too gutsy. Still, they're not staying there. She'll chase them off. That's fine. We're doing all right here. Now it's your turn. Go. Go. Now it's your turn. Yep, they've broken. I would like you boys back here now. Come on. Back you come. Shift back here. You can deal with him. Shush here, to be honest, mate. You rush over here and deal with him as well. Axes, I'd like front line. Nice. That's... They're going to be finished, they're going to be finished, and then we'll swing on to the rest of them. You can now start to shift. You boys, charge. You unburden yourself of that formation, come up here. Go kill. You reform and charge. You down here, kill him. Excellent job. Come back. Nicely done. You're killing them. They've broken. Charge. Keep going. Keep going. Smash. Very nicely done. Chase her down. You're killing them. You can chase there. I think, mate, you can chase there as well. And they are done. They are properly done. Do we have anyone left? You can ride around there, finish them off. You're finishing them off. They've got some people hidden here. Advance. They're running. Chase them. Chase them and kill them. Arch militia, Gen Sword Guard down here. I need some kills. We can't have this many people. Ten of them, bloody hell. We slaughtered them. 
Yeah, I can't have this many people escaping. Let's just slaughter a couple of units. And we'll call it a day. How are we doing? Archers. Nice effort. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And these guys, they bet... I mean, it's this unit here. That's where the, the only ones that lost any. They just stood there. It was brilliant. Guts. Time to do that. Right. Claim victory. Decisive victory. Very, very nice indeed. <laughs> so easy. They have no shields, of course. So they didn't stand a chance. Cavalry doesn't exactly have the best protection anyway. A lot of militia. Night battle. Shit, we killed two of their generals. Less than 600 escaped. Uh, I don't think we need the replenishment. I'll take the money. And do you know what? I'm going to follow up as well. And bye-bye. Too easy. Done. Again, I don't really think we need it. Very nice. Rock back here. Jiang is okay. A series bow and a water clock. Fantastic. We got eight grand as well. Well, we'll think about spending that in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen. If you have, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe. That's the first of our defense. That's the first uh, army that's actually properly threatened us. Shishi has dealt with it pretty well. Wang Lung's army is a little bit more hitty than theirs, but again, they're lacking shield. So it should be a similar deal. They got Xiao Rong and Shang. Okay. Okay. That's his son there. Fantastic. All right. And then I don't think they're looking like they're going to throw anyone else down this way. Um, so we're going to keep him here just to defend. We'll hope this goes yellow turban so we can jump in and take it. There's no guarantee it will. Uh, hmm. We should probably throw something here. Small town to town. Um, this is going to be industry. So let's get some state workshops in there. Right. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.